Hi friends, this is the math lesson for unit three, lesson two. We are actually going to split this lesson into three parts. We are going to start learning about different shapes. Our first lesson is going to be about squares. Our second lesson is going to be about rectangles. And our third lesson is going to be about triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, and hexagons. So this is part one of lesson two. All right. As you can see on my screen, I drew two shapes. I want you to look at them very carefully and you might be able to figure out what shape they are. These are called squares. Squares have very specific rules to be a square. The first thing that a square must have is four sides. So as you can see right here, there's one, two, three, and four, and right here, one, two, three, and four. Now, squares are also, they're very picky. Not only must they have four sides, but these sides must be equal. So I'm going to add a little carrot right there, and I'm going to write the word equal. So a square has four equal sides, always, no matter what. Now, a square also has what are called angles. Now, an angle is where two lines meet. It's like a corner. So this is an angle, this is an angle, this is an angle, and that is an angle. Now, the angles are very special. They are what are called a right angle. Now, you will learn about right angles throughout the rest of your school career, but for us, what I want you to remember about a right angle is that if I were to put my ruler, line it up on this edge, I wouldn't be able to see anything else. I make a perfect square in the angle. So see how there's nothing to see on the top and there's nothing to see on the side. It is a perfect square in there. That means that my lines are perfectly straight and I drew them um, with my ruler. Okay, so four equal sides and four, we can call them right angles. or square corners. Okay, so here's my equal sides, five centimeters, five centimeters, five centimeters, five centimeters, and my four square corners. And here we have three, 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 and three centimeters, and my four square corners. So that is what you need to know and remember about a square. So now what we're going to do is we are going to work on page 121 in our math book. You need page 121, you need a pencil, and you need your centimeter ruler. Remember, if you can't find the one that I sent home in the distribution, I sent them to your parents and an email. They can print one out for you, or you can look on Canvas and print it out yourself. Um, please make sure you have your ruler, your pencil, and your paper and then we'll get started. So in the blue rectangle right here, it says a square is a shape with four equal sides and four right angles. That is what we just talked about. So it's just reminding you up there. Now it says for number one, use your centimeter ruler, draw a square with sides that are each three centimeters long. Now I'm going to tell you right now, being in second grade, it can be challenging to draw a perfect square. It's actually kind of challenging for me to draw a perfect square um, without being able to measure the angles, but we're going to do our best. What I would like you to do is I want you to follow step by step. So first, you're going to put your ruler pretty close to the words going side to side. Remember, you hold your ruler with your the hand that you don't write with, and I like to put a few fingers on there just to make sure it stays steady. 
And then I'm going to start at zero and I'm gonna draw my first line to three. And then I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my ruler to go up and down and I'm gonna draw as straight as I possibly can my two sides. So there's one, I stop at the three, and here is my other one, and try and make it as straight as you can. I know it's hard. Okay, and then your final step is to draw your bottom line. Now, it should line up perfectly if you did them as straight as you possibly can. If you didn't, that's okay. I know you tried your best. So here's our square that has three centimeter long sides. We're going to add our little square corners in. And now we are done. So if you need to pause the video and keep working on that square, go ahead. Otherwise, we are going to keep going. The next blue rectangle that you see says Look at these shapes. So take a minute, look at those shapes, see what's going on there. And it's asking us, are any of these shapes squares? So we have to remember, what is a square? I want you to write over here on the side, four, equal sides and four right angles or square corners. So take a minute, pause the video if you need to and write that down. So the question is, are these squares? Well, let's start by counting the sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They all have four sides. Now, do they have, are the sides equal? Well, you can very easily tell that these two sides are shorter than these two sides. And this side is shorter than that side, so they're not the same. And this one has all different lengths for sizes, right? So they don't have four equal sides. So can any of them be squares? The answer is no, right off the bat. Now, number three says, how are the angles of these shapes different from the angles of squares? Well, we know that a square has four right angles. Do these have four right angles? No. Do they have any right angles? No way. They, we cannot put a perfect square in each any of these. There will be some leftover space on the side. I know it's hard to tell. Just try your best. So for number three, we are going to write they are not right angles. Okay, now let's look at number four. It says, how are the sides of these shapes different from the sides of squares? So we just talked about that before we started talking about the angles. Remember, a square has four equal sides, and we talked about how the sides here are not equal. So go ahead and write down an answer for number four. How are the sides of these shapes different? Please pause the video. Okay, so you don't have to write exactly what I write, but you need to write something about these shapes have different lengths for their sides or in a square, all sides are the same, something like that that.
All right. And the last one, it says, is this shape a square? Why or why not? So let's go through our checklist. Does it have four equal sides? Well, we can see that it has four sides, right? Let's grab our rulers. This side is about two and a half. That side is two and a half. This one is also two and a half. And the last one is two and a half as well. So it does have four equal sides. Great. Does it have four square corners or right angles? Now, it is tilted. Is that a problem? No, it's actually not because our ruler fits in to these corners just perfectly. So even though this shape is tilted, it is indeed a square. So is the shape a square? Yes, because, and we are just going to write basically what we wrote up here. It has four equal sides. and for, you can write right angles or square corners. All right, so that is it for our math book page, but I challenge you to take some time and practice drawing some squares. You can do them on a regular sheet of paper. You do need a ruler. Um, but you can try drawing one that has five centimeter sides, three centimeter sides. You can even draw some bigger ones, but I really want you to practice drawing some perfect squares. All right, friends, that's it for today. We'll see you later.